Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Peace be upon you, my beloved brothers and sisters. I would like to address a very important matter today. As we grow, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tests us. We are tested with various different things. And one of these tests is that the Almighty sometimes gives us. He gives us certain things and we should understand just like if he were to take things away. And that is a test. This too is a test of the Almighty. So sometimes when we don't have much, we tend to cry to the Almighty. We pray hard. We attend the prayers. Uh, we, you know, would love to be seen to repent to the Almighty for whatever bad we've done because we want lots of goodness to come in our direction due to the struggling that we are going through. However, when the opposite happens, a lot of us actually forget that this is part of the plan of the Almighty. It's temporary. Just like your difficulty is temporary, your ease in this world shall also be quite temporary. Remember that. So the graph actually moves up and down. A day that is easy, a day that is difficult, a day that is of profit, a day that is of loss. What you need to know is when the Almighty tests you by giving you, you need to develop certain qualities. What are they? Number one, show gratitude to the Almighty by thanking Him, by becoming a better person closer to the Almighty. So pray properly, uh, worship the Almighty alone, praise Him, declare His remembrance every so often. And remember that He is the greatest. He is the giver. Even if you've got a brain, He gave you the brain. So if people think that I got what I got because of my brain and it's me, don't forget who gave you you. Who gave you your brain? Who gave you the idea, the ability? I've known of some wealthy people in my country, Zimbabwe, and they've become wealthy, I think, yes, as part of what the Almighty wanted for them, but He placed them in the right place at the right time, at the right moment, and they made their money. So when that happened, did they become closer to the Almighty or distant? If they became closer, well done, you're succeeding. When you have made money, and I've seen a lot of people who've made money and become so arrogant, their attitude stinks. No one wants to talk to them, but people are good to them because of their money. Actually, people are good to their money, not to them. So I've known of so many, but there are few whom their money makes them even better. So you have more. And I challenge you, the more you get, become a better person. Show your humbleness. Number one, your closeness to the Almighty. Number two, character and conduct. You must develop your character and conduct. If you don't develop your character and conduct as you get money, you are actually at a loss. You haven't understood the plan of the Almighty. Not only money, but ease. You passed your examination with all A's. You're known as a top student. Does that make you arrogant? Does it make you haughty? I'm the one and so on. Or does it make you a person who's humble? You're still a normal human being. You're still your good old self. You know, your friends are your friends, etc. If you cannot cope, you know, cannot manage to communicate with every single person, at least you are polite. At least you try. Okay. So your character conduct. Sometimes people get authority. They, they are propelled into position. A position of leadership, whether it's in your company, at your school, at your workplace, in government, uh, in the council, uh, anywhere else, anywhere else. If you've been given a promotion and you found yourself propelled into a position of authority, I promise you that is not forever. It is very temporary. During your days, make sure that you serve the people in the best possible way. They will remember you. They will pray for you. And when you leave that position, you will not regret. People will remember you with the kindest of prayers. I know of people who've been propelled into positions of authority on different levels. They become nasty. People, just because they're the bosses, 
you are the boss in your workplace and suddenly your mouth is so foul you use the worst language to refer to people who work for you and remember your company your business your workplace nothing is going to be successful if there is no good character at that particular workplace so if you have beautiful character, people smile at each other, greet each other every morning, assist each other, you know, thank you, please, etc. All these polite terms, uh, you know, you can uh, put the religious terms in it. Jazakallah khair, alhamdulillah, barakallah feek, salam alaikum, etc. And, you know, even if the people are not Muslim, for example, it does not mean you should not be polite. You should be the most polite person ever, ever. And that's a challenge. If you want to be a good believer, one of the signs of the best of believers, they are kind, compassionate, brilliance of character towards those who they interact with, starting with the people at home. And today we're talking about your workplace and authority. In fact, even in the house, the father has a little bit of authority, actually, because he's the father of the home, the mother as well. She has a certain you know, authority within the home because she's the mother of the home. Now, that doesn't give them a green light to actually swear their children and those who are in the house or the helpers and the others be careful a day will come when you will regret your action if not in this world then in the next but i think it will happen before in this world before the next so remember my brothers and sisters when you're propelled into a position of authority humble yourself humble yourself down look at the prophets of the almighty they were humble people beautiful people they taught by example they actually led by example it is something amazing so when you're propelled into position of authority you're the boss do not speak to those who work for you or who, to those who are under your authority in a way that is low and in a way that is actually derogatory, vulgar, abusive, etc. Because you know what? A day will come when you're going to pay about it, when you're going to pay for it. The same applies to those who are step mums and step dads in the home. Make sure that you look after those children that belong to your spouse in a very fair and just way. Because a day will come when the Almighty will actually pounce on you. Don't oppress children. These are your kids. Even sometimes people who are not step moms or dads, real mothers and fathers, the way they treat their kids, just because the child is making a choice, slightly different from what you dreamt of all along, you now have a heart filled of hate and you abuse them and you, you torture them. That is unacceptable. Remember this. So the Almighty has put you in a position. All these positions are actually just a test. While you're in this position, I remember an ambassador of a certain country had met me once when he was newly appointed to a certain country. And he told me, you know, I, I, I would like you to give me a few good words uh, that would help me during my four year stay in this country. And I told him, I said, Your Excellency, I have one piece of advice, actually. And that is, if you serve the people, and if you make sure that you respect everyone whom you interact with from this nation, when you leave after four years, people will remember you for the good that you did, for the way you spoke to them, for the way you facilitated during your short period of time with these people. And they will pray for you, you know, forever. And I promise you, this man stuck to it and he spent his four years serving the people. He was such a brilliant man. He had uh, earned the, the love of all the people he interacted with when he left, surely the people were saying, wow, that was a good man. Same applies to every one of us, wherever you are. It's just a short period of time. Remember this, my brothers and sisters. Watch your tongue. The tongue actually tells who you are. The tongue, This tongue is evidence for what is in the heart. When your tongue... Uh, is abusive it shows a corrupt heart it shows a dirty heart clean that tongue and no matter who you are like i say position of authority secondly you may be a teacher you may be a headmaster you may be for example uh, uh maybe a manager at your workplace uh, perhaps a headman somewhere be careful be careful how you speak I promise you a day will come when you won't have that authority anymore. You could be a mayor. You could be a minister. You could be anyone. Remember, serve the people. Speak. 
sorry, speak politely to them because a day will come when you will definitely, definitely learn your lesson. Uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us all ease. And that was the message I had for you today to say, if you are propelled into position of authority, if you have money, if you have position, authority and power, remember that's a test. It's going to go. It is definitely going to go. A day will come when you will be powerless. So it's just you're at the top of the mountain at the moment. And subhanAllah, you need to seize the opportunity to serve the people and those around you in such a way that in such a way that when you don't have that power or position anymore, you would actually be remembered with the best of prayers and with goodness, kindness in every single way from the people. And uh, this is something unique. Now, I want to speak about myself. So a lot of people have a lot of respect for me. I appreciate that. Sometimes I think maybe I don't deserve that. I'm just a normal brother of yours. And uh, um, yes, I like to stand in the queue with the people. Yes, sometimes we're given a bit of preferential treatment. It's not like I want it. Sometimes it's there. But I think to myself, a day that the Almighty uh, puts you back to where you were, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. We need to be so humble that the day we don't have what we had, we are still on the same level. When your wealth puts you at the top of the mountain in such a way that you start flying so high, when you drop, it's going to be very hurtful. But if you had the wealth, had the authority, had the position, the power, uh, you had everything, you had the looks, you were the person, you know, uh, you were the person everyone looked up to. Remember, if you remain humble, if you remain with great character, you remain close to the Almighty, the day that it's all snatched away, you're not hurt. You are just your normal self. I had it. Alhamdulillah, I served the people. When I don't have it, they're praying for me because they know when this guy was a really good guy. Uh, the same applies to the sisters, obviously, where I'm using the word guy because I think it's inclusive. In our slang, it's inclusive of a male and a female. So when I say you guys, I'm talking of my brothers and sisters. Okay, so here goes. Uh, this is something really great. And I, I, I pray that the Almighty grant us uh, ease and goodness. Uh, I'm going to post this, inshallah, on uh, YouTube shortly, uh, uh, on my channel. And I won't be able to take too many questions uh, from you. Uh, I won't be able to take too many questions from you today because of time constraints. But I thought that I would at least give you a good message so that you can take it home, so that you can think about it. I want to improve and I hope you want to improve. And like I say, don't judge a book by its cover. People see me sometimes, they might see uh, a sister wearing a scarf, they might see a person with a beard, etc. And they start thinking, whoa, this guy is bad. No, we also have a lot of good to share. And don't be deterred by the people who, who are trying to distract you. No, keep on doing good work. And you know what? A day will come when people will appreciate and more than that, the Almighty will accept it from you. May Allah accept it from all of us. And when that happens, you're sailing all the way to paradise. Uh, may the Almighty use us to help one another, to serve one another, inshallah, in a way that we have a better world. I will not be uh, able to actually press the end button here without praying for my brothers and sisters who are struggling and suffering across the globe, wherever they are, whoever they are. Right now, a few places come to mind because of the heat of what's going on there. We are really broken. We are bleeding. We feel very let down by those in authority who are perpetrating some of these crimes. May the Almighty really, really guide us all to have the softest of hearts such that when we have a problem, we never ever resort to violence to sort our matters out. Rather, we use different methods to sort this, the problems out. The brothers and sisters in Ghota, Allah is with you. My brothers and sisters in Sri Lanka, I've been getting messages today. Uh, I pray that the matter can be sorted out. There's no, there's no need to actually create hatred and to uh, perpetrate acts of violence and so on. May Allah help you. May Allah guide you. May Allah protect you all, those who are struggling across the globe. May your difficulties be made easy. And I've just mentioned two places, but trust me, there are so many other places I'm sure a lot of you would want to uh, a lot of you would want to name other places. This is why I always pray to the Almighty, O oh Allah, wherever the oppressed are, help them. Wherever those who are going through difficulty are, help them. Because 
I know of people in the first world countries who are silently suffering in a way that others are suffering across the globe in their small circle, in their own particular uh, circumstances. So don't forget those. It doesn't mean that you're living in a first world country, so that's it. You're living in paradise. I know of thousands who complain and who actually say, we're struggling, we're suffering, you know, we cannot make ends meet and so on. We're working hard, health matters, social matters. May Allah bless you all. May Allah grant you ease no matter where you are, who you are. And remember, we all love one another for the pleasure of the Almighty. Jazakumullah khair. Thank you so much. Have a lovely, lovely uh, evening if you're living in Africa. And inshallah, morning if you're living in Australia. And inshallah, perhaps uh, the previous morning if you're living in the States. I think there is still ahead of us but that's irrelevant because by the time this goes up on youtube inshallah you're going to lose the time of it may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you all shukran for all your interactions and uh i like i said i i'm so sorry i was unable to actually respond to a lot of your messages today but inshallah i'll do that another time assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh سله روى القلب من نفحاته كالماء يروي لهفة العطشان